good morning, here we are on the road. Yes, we've already left. Bro's arrived early today for a change, so he caught me unawares this morning. Well done, bro. I thank you. Now, weather. What's the weather like, bro? You'll fair to neige. Oh, right, yeah, there it is, folks. Yes, it is indeed. It's quite snowy. It's been sort of small snow, but it's been quite heavy and blizzardy through the night. So anyway, we're heading along towards Perth. Hopefully we'll make Perth, it. Perth, 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 Perth. We'll get to the... Um, We'll get to the Rossi Priory this time today. We're going to try again, folks, to go for it. We've got some more information, and we might head down to um, what's it called, Fortiviet, and have a look at this new Pictish stone, folks. So a couple of things today. Stay with us. Thank you. Down to Fort Even now. Bro does not like driving in no, snow. I hate the snow. But it's alright so far. Scared of the snow. So hopefully these roads should be alright. So it looks okay actually, bro. But I think we're going to be okay. Places. There it is, folks. And the new Pictish stone here. Yeah, let's touched it first. Get in. There it is, folks. Wonderful. <laughs> so here it is, folks. The latest Pictish stone in this area. Now, the Fortivia used to be the seat of um, the main Pictish clans in the area. So Fortivia has got a great Pictish Heriot and this is the first Pictish stone to be unveiled here within a thousand years of the last one here. So it's got something to do with McAlpin and his, uh, his merry bunch of blue people. We'll see what this says up here. There's a thing up here about uh, something that was rebuilt by John Alexander I Baron. Okay, just a, there it is. Right, folks, what we have here on this, this stone at the very top here, we've got a pair of sinister beasts which are based on a cross from Moni Feath, just along the road from me there. And these are supposed to protect the subject in the scenes below. And what we have here also, folks, is the, uh, as you see, the two riders up there. They are supposed to rival, or be like rival claimants to the throne because there was a power struggle. Uh, here before Sinead became the king. At least I think that's how you pronounce his name, uh, Sinead. So the message really here is that the uh, the rival houses now ride with Sinead and only Sinead can be the king and defend his kingdom up here. And this bit here now, I thought this was about the hawk and everything, but it's not. What ha what's happening here is Sinead is riding a regal horse with the royal eagle on his hand. The eagle represents both his royal status and ability to launch attacks against the North Men. Yes, a sword, just right here, folks, a sword is based on what they call the Gorton sword. I'm not too sure what that's all about then. So there we go. That's on the top panel. Right, this here. little symbol here, we've got an eagle and the raven. But he's supposed to be defeating the raven, which is the enemy. But it just shows that the raven is a little bit defiant and the enemy will have to be beaten again and again. Fantastic sculpt. Right, the very bottom panel here, folks, uh, represents a local legend predating Sinead's reign. Uh, that St. Surf, who I think this is supposed to be, defeated a dragon at nearby Dunning by just using his staff. Amazing. And here it is, folks. 
down here we've got the Saint and the Dragon's Tail images. These are based on carvings from St. Vigians and it's so cold folks, I can't do any more. Thank you, that's about it. Now the cross behind me here folks, this has been taken from many examples of other sort of crosses from around the country, like we've got some, the top of this from Iona. Um, and there's other bits and pieces about things, something to do with the Apostles of Christ. And we've got salt tires and all sorts of things. No, it's too cold, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go in folks. It's just too cold for me. The snow's come on again. Oh my lord. Hey, folks, here we are inside this new bus stop here. Now look at this, it's got a really nice wooden panel bench there, folks. Tell you, this is more exciting than the, the stone itself. It smells really nice and new. It smells lovely. Yes. Oh, Bro's found a local. Oh, Bro's found a local. Oh, no, oh, no. oh she got was a leaflet for us. Excellent. Yes. yes, it was, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, folks, we're having a little walk around for TV at here now. See, what's, see what exciting things we can find. But there, oh, there's an empty phone box, bro. Nothing in here. A complete empty phone box. Disaster. Nothing in here. And what else we've got? We've got a freestanding post box. There's a bowling alley that way. A bowling club, I should say. Not a bowling alley, but that, that is about it, really, isn't it? a stone and timber company but really no shops here folks it's all just very very in the middle of nowhere but this used to be the uh, the center of Pictish clans they used to come and gather here so it does have a great heritage and that's why the Pictish stone is here I didn't know that. yes uh, oh yeah it was the, the central area for the clans to meet and uh, have a bit of a, a shindig shall we say here's a place it's called Birdsong Bird song. Bird song. Now, what's this in here? This is the old bowling club here, folks, I think. Look. This. So, here's the bowling club, folks. Look at this. Oh, my goodness me. to have a look at the uh, the old church right folks we've come to Dunning it's stunning at Dunning we've come here because I'm absolutely starving man we have to get something to eat nice little river bit there and over this side we have a weeping willow looking over the river excellent Twix, folks, the breakfast of champion. I lost bro. No, you're not. Well, folks, we're on the second part of today's adventure. Now we're going to try and find Abernite. And uh, we've got some information from Bill Morrison. Thank you, Bill. Uh, we've got to try and find some red slated cottage roofs and go down a drive there. So we're going to try and find the Rossi Priory. Hopefully, folks. Bro, right, still driving. Right, folks, we've made it to Rossi, the estate. We didn't actually realise this was here. You can just drive up, and uh, we just met a lovely couple, Bob and oh, I can't remember what their name was, but they, they invited us in for coffee. They live just there, but uh, they said you can just walk straight into this priory. So here we are. We're going through the gates now, folks, and there it is. In we go. Right, folks, it's absolutely Baltic walking along this path here now. If you watched us last week. We went to Monker, Monker Castle, which is just down there, folks. So, oh my, it? well, it's in there, it's in there, there's trees, isn't it? But here we go. Oh my Lord, so cold. Right, folks, I think, uh, I think we found it, although it's uh, strictly private. But, uh, oh, look at these gardens, wow, look. There's a bit of a ruin, I don't know if this is it or not, folks. There's some sort of terraced garden there, look. Oh, is this it? Oh, wait. Really? A bit disappointing if it is. Oh, I don't think this is more like a folly, bro, I think. No, this ain't a ruin. Oh, 
absolutely. Oh, there's another folly up here, look. There's a waterfall up here, folks. Excellent. I don't know if we're supposed to be here, but... I don't think I was supposed to be here, but got a little cave and everything here. Look, wow, <laughs> excellent! Nice waterfall here. Look, what a bro, folks. There he is. So we found this old sort of like a, it's like an old pack horse bridge. I'm not sure what it's going to be used for, but you know, it just goes up this little river from the Rossi estate. Like I'm going to walk over it. There's also these interesting. I'm not sure what they are, but... Fountain, drinking fountain maybe. Well, that's what I thought, but it's not. It says George... What's that? I was supposed to come like that out. But uh, you've got sort of iron on it. I'm not sure what these are. There's a few of them. Mine was munched away. Right folks, much excitement. We've stopped here for tea and toast. Yes, in the horseshoe thing. We were here a couple of weeks ago, remember? But uh, it was nice and quiet when we came here. Now, about four or five cars have stopped piling. The must, word must have got around spaces in the building. Yes. Right. Right, there we are, folks. That was the horseshoe restaurant cafe cup of tea was excellent and you can't really go wrong with toast can you so excellent i think bro's coffee was good and so was his slice of caramel shortcake but uh, that's twice we've been here within the month so i think we're coming regulars so there it is folks there we go <coughs> oh, no, folks, excuse me Russia in the uh, <laughs> oh for goodness sake <laughs> folks there we go that was the horseshoe uh refe 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 no sorry again 